Ah, now I'm going to talk about one of the highlights of our crop. It's an apple that people ask for frequently and is extraordinarily popular. And that apple is known as the pink pearl. Comes late August, goes through early September, sometimes even later than early September. Um, it tastes like grapefruit. It stays firm for weeks. Um, you can add it to, it stays chunky if you cook it. Um, so I don't like it all by itself because it's a little too sh chunky unless I'm making fried apple slices and that's a story for another day. Um, but the pink pearl, not only does it taste good, not only can you cook with it, not only is it multi, you know, multitask apple, but it also has some other really interesting things to it because the pink pearl, see, yellow on the outside, kind of got that pearless opalescent kind of shape, but if you open it up and you take your knife, boom, it is pink on the inside. I will say if this year had had colder nights, it would be more pink than it is right now. Uh, it gets more pink. It'll also get more pink as the season goes on, but that's a pretty good representation. Now, the pink pearl is a descendant of an old English variety known as the surprise. I think you can guess why the surprise was called the surprise. It's called the surprise because of its pink interior, just like the pink pearl. Now, the pink pearl variety was developed by Elbert Etter, who was a Californian. Another, um, like Kidd, uh, another self-taught man, uh, absolutely believed in the development of fruit. Um, in addition to um, apples, he was also known for developing strawberries. California is a, a great strawberry producing state. Now, the Pink Pearl, Edder developed the Pink Pearl in 1928, but it wasn't introduced until 1944. And if until you remember, you know how we introduce apples, um, you know, we first of all, we create them, we take that pollen, we put it on the blossom, we cultivate that, uh, that, the, that cross for a while, we cultivate that limb, we make that into a tree, um, and then finally we reproduce that tree, and once we've been able to successfully reproduce the tree, reproduce the variety, that's when it goes into commercial sale. So, Although the pink pearl goes back to 1928, which makes it an antique because anything older than 1936 is an antique, it was not commercially introduced until 1944. In 1940, though, four years prior to that, uh, George Reading Jr., who was the owner of the California Nursery Company, he paid Edder for the rights to the pink pearl. And in fact, it was George Reading and his California Nursery Company who introduced the pink pearl to the United States. And it has spread... Um, it has spread throughout the, the world. Um, and Edder, let's talk about a little bit about Edder. Edder self-taught. Um, he brought his brothers into the orcharding business, and he was able uh, to create the Eddersburg Experimental Place, um, which is internationally known. It's an internationally known experimental station, um, not affiliated with the university. It is completely his own. It's near Bear Creek. Um, he created Eddersburg near Bear Creek in California in 1894. Um, his wife, uh, his, his widow, I should say, sold the property after his death. Um, and he, um, Edder though, prior, uh, started uh, prior to even starting the experimental station, uh, started to develop apple breeding in the 1920s. Um, in addition, Edder, in addition to developing the pink pearl, he also introduced the Alaska, the old gold, the Humboldt crab, the John Wynn, and the Wixen. Um, I have I will fully admit to you the only apple of that group I have tried is the pink pearl. Um, I've always been on the lookout for any of the other varieties. Um, I do know that, as I said, his widow uh, sold the experimental station, and my understanding was 
that she sold the experimental station to somebody who wanted to explore some of the, the varieties um, that Etter created, but had not already sold the rights to, uh, to other nurseries. Um, and then in, uh, the ones I just listed to you had been sold to other nurseries. So unfortunately at this point, it's up to them uh, to bring them out and commercially sell them. Uh, but that is the story of the pink pearl. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it is a delicious apple and it is one of Weston's antique apple orchards signature apples. So thank you, have a good day and enjoy.